Most often I'll make a video and it'll be about a new technology. I'll be talking about new battery technology. I'll be saying, hey, this is an amazing new thing. A lot of people will say that I believe they are usually the naysayers. You know, Arnold, Tors Arnold Torsenegger talks about them. He says, you must ignore the naysayers because progress is always going to happen. We didn't have the internet. You know, pre-1990 really didn't really work. And all of a sudden today we have the ability to communicate like this and we have the ability to make videos and do all these things we didn't used to do. Progress is happening everywhere. But we hear this sort of stuff, right? We say progress won't happen when it comes to things like technology. That's just a, that's a pie in the sky thing. That battery technology is never going to exist. We hear that all the time in the comments. If you read a lot of the comments, you get a bit misled. Start thinking to yourself, well, maybe things aren't getting better. Maybe things aren't improving. And maybe these people are right. Maybe um, actually you know, solar won't take over the world. Maybe that new battery will never be produced. And then it turns out that quite often those people are wrong. Oxford is now commercialized their solar panels. Now, solar panel prices have come down by 93% over the past 15 years. At the same time, the efficiency of those panels has more than doubled. But Oxford have increased the efficiency by a further 20%. That is absolutely game-changing. It's remarkable. And in fact, when I did a video about this, I believe a lot of people were, th were saying, this is just pie in the sky. They're never actually going to make these things. Well, it turns out now they are. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. And I want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate you guys. Also, YouTube members. If you'd like to be a YouTube member, there will be certain videos you can see that are not visible on the main channel. And it does support the channel as well, of course. University of Oxford spin-off Oxford PV has revealed a world first commercial sale of its tandem solar panels that produce 20% more energy than standard silicon panels. These panels are quite remarkable because they have a groundbreaking 24.5% module efficiency and each panel has 72 cells. They actually use Oxford's proprietary perovskite silicon solar cells and they'll be used in a utility scale installation by an American customer, United States customer for, you know, utility scale, as in think of like a solar farm, that type of thing. The panels reduce the levelized cost of electricity and use our land much more efficiently because they generate more electricity from the same area. Land is very, very efficient now with solar panels. Of course, a lot of solar panels now are on your, your house, on your roof, which is the most efficient use of any electricity medium that I can think of. When have we ever had something that actually makes your house cooler, right? That's what they do. My house, the temperature in my house, he has actually reduced as a result of having my new solar system here. <laughs> I've checked the temperatures in my roof. They, they're actually less than what they were the same time last year. Now guys, if you don't have solar yet, you absolutely need to get it because with or without Oxford PV panels, the truth is that solar now is an absolute no-brainer. A lot of us, a lot of people complain about the cost of electricity, but if you have the solar system, you won't have to worry about that. My, the company that I used, I'll put a link in the description to them. They have the best reviews of any company in Australia. I spent a lot of time researching it, spent days actually talking to people, looking at reviews, etc. And these guys use the best products and they have the best service. And that's what I found was my experience as well. I'll give you a bit of a discount if you use my link. I don't make anything from that, by the way, there's no kickback. The commercialization of this technology is a breakthrough for the energy industry, said the CEO of the company at Oxford PV. With more electricity generation from the same area, perovskite technology is now helping utilities speed up this transition by offering more energy at a lower cost. Oxford PV claims this is to be the first commercial deployment of a perovskite tandem solar panel worldwide. And actually, I believe it is. Now, the truth is the company actually have more efficient panels. They in fact have panels that are, have an efficiency of 26.9%. These first panels though, that they'll be deploying for this farm will have an efficiency of just under 25%, but their newer modules will have an efficiency of 27%. Think about this, right? I mean, 15 years ago, the efficiency of panels was at about 11%, 12 even maybe max. That's more than double. That's an incredible number considering the cost declines we've seen at the same time. The England-based solar technology pro company produces its proprietary high-efficiency tandem solar cell cells at its Brandenburg factory in Germany. So, I mean, you know, manufacturing for the UK, which is where my, my dad's from the UK, it's collapsed. And I mean, isn't this crazy that this company, 
in Oxford, it's obviously a British British university, British college that is steeped in tradition and history. And they decided to manufacture these solar panels in Germany. Anyway, they've been developing and working to commercialize this technology for 10 years now, since 2014. So a lot of naysayers said it would never happen. Well, it has happened. It's here. It's in the United States. Oxford PV says it will allocate production at its Brandenburg factory in, which is actually not far from Tesla's factory in Germany. It will allocate it to utility customers, specialty products, and pilot residential applications. Within a few years, they will scale production to gigawatt scale with massively high volumes. And these solar panels, I believe, are gonna make a huge difference. Huge, huge difference. We're talking about a big jump in panel efficiency here. Talking about possibly a major revolution. This is the kind of technological breakthroughs I believe we're gonna see over the next 10 years. So don't write them off. Don't see it and say, well, that's just in, that's in its beta phase or you know, that's just early pre-production. Don't write them off because a lot of this stuff will happen. It's gonna take time. But as you can see, new technology will arrive and that new technology will be deployed. A lot of this is gonna come from artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is being used now. It, what it will do is it'll take around three months. A lot of companies are doing this now. They're taking around three months. They get their AI, they train it, and it will basically search for every material possible, every material combination. It can speed up the development by literally millions of years. Scientists, if they do this manually, it takes them millions of years. They've been up to train AI now to do it in the space of three, maximum four months. So the technological innovations we're gonna see over the next decade are gonna be truly staggering. And they won't be fake, they'll be very real. It'll just take time to commercialize them. Some of them won't be commercialized, but many will.